Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for some more racing. Now, this particular circuit is another recreation of a real world track, and we're going to see if you lot can figure out. This is a much tougher one. See if you lot can figure it out uh, before the end of the first race. Uh, the title of the track will give it away for the second race. Here is the circuit over there in the distance. Um, now, this is a track made by Brazen, who has figured out we're going to mess about at the start line, you know, the normal shenanigans, so let's put some boost pads around. Lombard's managed to explode. Whoa, hey! <laughs> oh, crap. Quickly reset. I want a fresh car. Please don't give me a long respawn uh, for the race start. We're off! And, I mean, yeah, it's not a bad, not a terrible start there, what, that one. Someone did do a bit of a jump start. Who is it? Longbow, perhaps? Oh! Well, that's not great. That is not great at all. Sorry, level 8. <laughs> it's gone worse. Got a little bit carried away in the uh, in, in the braking zones on that one. It's fine. We can recover. There shall be time. It's an eight-lap race uh, for this first one with the Gauntlet and Dominator race cars. Uh, oh, we've got some different sort of curbing styles uh, around there. That's actually quite clever use of the, is like the air, aeroplane runway marker kind of thing it kind of looks like could be wrong not actually sure we've really got to see the edge of it uh, all right come on where's a big slipstream pull anywhere anywhere will do this is not a place we really want to be overtaking on uh, it's not an easy place to get passes done uh, it's not going to happen there at all uh, right we're just not off to a very good start slipstream is catch up is going to be less effective here than Whoa, that's a big slide than at quite a few other circuits uh, by virtue of there's not really that many straights. They're not really ooh, very long straights. Uh, that's just a kick of oversteer at a really awkward time. Did not need that. Okay, we can't quite be as fast. It's quite a technical section through there. You really cannot be all that fast. So, yeah, going to have to be a lot more careful than that through there in future laps. Uh, everyone's really, I well, think, really quite spread. It's not like spread, spread out, but there is quite the uh, quite the gaps going on. And yeah, we are just not having a great time in this in this race. We've really struggled to make any progress. I mean, we got past level eight, and that was it. And now we're behind Bumpy. Uh, we might have a go into turn one here uh, again if we can get it right. Bumpy's got a little bit of curb boost going on there. But we are on the preferred line into the first corner. Nine Tails has had a slide out wide through all of that, battling away with someone. Is that a Ewan, maybe? Uh, not sure. Oh, we have got a good run on the exit. That oh, was an Aaron over there it's with a frosty gold looking car. Yeah, we've got a half decent run down the back straight. Big amount of airtime for Nine Tails. That's not helped me. <laughs> oh, yeah. The uh, airtime, not the way to get a good lap time around this circuit, so it would so it would turn out. Okay, I don't think we're going to get around the outside here, maybe. No, we still managed to get a half-decent run on this exit. We're going to go side by side. We might get past nine tiles on the way through here. We do. That's up to 14th. We are going to need a very good few laps, and we are going to have to kind of hope for some chaos up ahead, to be honest with you. Uh, me and Level 8 doing a little bit of the old curb boosting down there. I mean, if, if the whole pack ahead starts having a fight, that would help us a lot. Now, don't run wide here. That's what got me in trouble a little while ago. It's level 8's turn to uh, have the running wide moment. We were quick through there, and it might put us to the inside. We might get 13th away uh, from a oh, level 8. We do. Now we're going to try and chase down pink machine in front of us. I think it was Mute. It is Mute's the name player has just popped up. There's a lot of battling going on for the pack of cars ahead, uh, which should hopefully help us if they fight each other. Yes, fight each other, slow each other down, and then we can maybe profit. That's definitely the way it's going to work, right? <laughs> definitely, definitely the best bet best thing we're going to have here. Uh, there's a lot of cars going two and three wide into turn one, and that is good news for us. That is what we want to see, uh, although we are about to go and run into the traffic ourselves. Now, I think I think we're going to struggle to make up too many more positions at the moment, just because we're kind of in the pack of cars as well. 
Mute got a little bit boxed in behind Longbow. Ninetales is going to get both of us here. Oh, though Ninetales is on a bit of a tight line through there. We get through the middle and helpfully get off the corner with a big slipstream pull from Longbow. That'll put us into 12th, but we are about to drive into the pack, into the horde of cars. And I mean, it really is, there's no other way to describe this other than a horde of vehicles that we are about to enter. <laughs> this is going to be survival mode, I think, here soon. We've got a great pull through that final corner. I've got nowhere to go with any of it, but we had a great, uh, great amount of speed. Longbow is to the inside. Will Longbow get some oversteer mid-corner? Yep. And our chances of getting past Blakey, sadly, were a little bit derailed, although we've kept the 11th place from Longbow. There was some contact up there from cars ahead. We have got a good, a good little, uh, good little run down here. We're going to pass one. Can we get to the inside of this group? We are there, but we can't finish the move. Brazen's going to fight back through there. We've got the curb on the exit, which is what I wanted. We might sneak our way past both of them here. Uh, if we can get the braking right, park the car, a little bit of oversteer in front of Ewan. Not really helped us, but we've got it going again off the corner. Puts us, yeah, puts us to eighth. Not too shabby. <laughs> All things considered, not too bad. We've got, what, one more lap to go, I think, in all of this? Uh, okay, I've got two more laps. There's a chance we might be able to make up some more positions along the way here. That would be nice. They are three wide through here. And a little bit slow, and I'm going to make the most of that, and there is contact there. Uh, as soon as those cars made contact, the, the car that got hit in the rear quarter just steered violently left, and yeah, that, they were both going to go off. That works out for me quite nicely, thank you very much. Chris is leading the way from Liam Gliska, and I didn't quite see who was in front of us at the moment. Uh, Stevie, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're up to fifth place with one lap to go. Gliska's to the inside, gets a move done on Chris. Uh, it's going to be a manic final lap. It's a great, it's a great fun circuit. This is a great recreation. Um, a really challenging track, and it is difficult to pass around here. I've had to have a big lift off the throttle multiple times already around this final corner. That's going to put Amy alongside, who then gets a big oversteer moment. Here comes Team Orange Car. Oh, Gliska spinning across the track uh, in front. I think that took out Blakey and... Team Orange, final lap luck continues for Blakey if they got fed into the wall. I didn't quite see the outcome. We snuck past the mayhem there. As uh, No, no, Blakey's still going. Blakey's still fine. We're going to bump from Liam. We're going to get past Stevie, but Liam is going to go to the inside. Uh, is Liam going to be able to pull this move off? I don't know, because we can run in deep through there. We are going to try our very best to fight this one, fight as much as we can for this position. Uh, we've got a purple car. Is that Stevie having a look? Is Stevie going to get it stopped for this corner? They will. I don't know. Oh, no, we've got a good exit here, actually, thanks to the slipstream from Liam. Uh, we've got a great run, but it's going to be really difficult to pass on this run to the finish line because it's not a particularly big run. We are right there. We get a big slide, but it's not going to quite work. Oh, there's a hell of a photo finish further back as well. <laughs> that was Lado and maybe, maybe level eight. I didn't see. Maybe, maybe Gliska, sorry, and someone else. I don't know. Bloody hell, that was a madness. <laughs> I can't believe we climbed our way up into a second place. To be honest, in that one. Oh, considering how bad it went at the start, it took us so long to get back into the fight, but we did get there. We had a bit of a run, but. Uh, we just couldn't. Liam kind of closed the door a little bit on the wide line and I didn't have the speed to make it stick, uh, cutting back to the right-hand side. So, yeah, couldn't really do much much with that one by the end of it, but um, I'm happy to have got up to second after much of that race spent being miles off the back of the pack. Uh, but there we go. For our second race, oh, we have got the Adder. Yeah, something a little bit different. Well done to anybody who figured out the circuit was Pukakoi. Uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic circuit. If you've watched the uh, V8 Supercars or whatever it is called, the, I think it's just Supercars now, uh, you may well recognise this circuit. Uh, wonderful track. Whee! That's a hell of a bump draft through these first corners. Oh, we've got all sorts of twitchy and bouncy and all sorts of problems there, but we're fine. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, okay, don't launch the adder. It's going to be faster than the muscle car. Okay, definitely can't push. Hey, with these, we've learnt that. Uh, not even, like, a more sensible attempt at a bump draft doesn't work uh, at all with these cars. Ninetales has got a great exit and will pass both of us. 
Uh, down there. I'm trying to be a bit sneaky. We dip a wheel over the edge. Oh, Stevie's going for a dive and a half. Uh, can I get... I might be the one to get Slipstreet. Oh, no. <laughs> Tails ended up uh, kind of pulling across to the left. Level 8 got some as well. We will be maybe side by side <laughs> through here. Almost get sideways, but that is okay. Nine Tails just runs out of speed as the Slipstream will kick in. It is three wide for the lead all the race almost Galiska launches over the curb this time around we're kind of a bit stuck again on this inside line Oy. it's not so easy Ewan was doing a massive wheelie back there <laughs> quite know how the uh, the wheelie managed to end up happening there's going to be a car having a dive to the inside uh, we will be nice enough through all of that. Okay, we've got a little bit of a gap to the cars behind. That's what we like. It means I can take the line I want to. Oh, God. Nine tails with some lag. Uh, glad that car lagged back and was still on the outside of the circuit. That could have been quite, quite unfortunate. Uh, we will run. Again, <laughs> side by side through these corners is as sketchy in GTA as it is in real life. Can work. Sadly for us, no slipstream uh, was forthcoming. And Nine tails was able to make that pass stick. Although we are much quicker through turn one. But it's going to put us over the curbs uh, there. And now Chris is going to have a look to the inside. The mute got an <laughs> absolutely sent across those curbs. Yeah, these don't run over those curbs as well as the muscle cars did. Oh, Liam's to the inside. Uh, well, it was a brave move. It was already a bit too many cars wide, I think, going on there. Um, but yeah... <laughs> It's already a lot of cars fighting for that space and a big centre to the inside. Not help matters. We got out of it okay in that one. Ah, uh, yeah, we were fine. We found ourselves, once, much like in the previous race, we found ourselves at the point where we're not really actually making all that much progress yet. But previous race, it all worked out in the end. So hopefully we can do a similar thing. We've got a good run for seventh. Although don't, don't mess up turn one. Back in, really wanted to step out through there. Uh, we'll follow the, like I say, follow the pack. Don't really have much of a choice. Uh, but to follow the pack through there this lap around. Uh, Brazen's going to get a good exit. Oh, uh, there's some sliding around. I was going to try and sneak my way to the left. Couldn't, because Level 8's car was wiggling and uh, struggling for control. Uh, there was almost an adder size gap briefly on that <laughs> side against the wall. Longbow does a little bit of a wheelie. We've got momentum and Level 8 is about to get passed from both sides, although is on the inside around here. I was looking for that good uh, good exit, which we do not get. Should have gone wider, I think, and hit the curbs and got the, the, the boost in the slipstream. Never mind. Uh, we will have to settle for losing positions this lap around. That's a hell of a slingshot we got through there, though. Bloody hell, that's a lot of speed. Barreling into the first corner. Oy. Now it's just everybody gets checked up through here. Uh, it's it's very difficult. It's very difficult to make progress. Oh, there's a flip. That is a level 8 gone for a massive crash over. Yeah, those curbings are definitely a lot meaner with the adder than they were with the muscle cars. You got away with running them in the muscle cars. You do not get away with running them in these as well. We've seen wheelies. We've seen all sorts of chaos before cars there. Uh, we're going to get slipstream. No, it does not want to seem to... No, it's kicked in now. That's a little too late. I needed it immediately off the corner. Never mind, it's fine. We have now got a good bit of a momentum. We'll pass you and oh, does he help? Did not expect Steve. There was not much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a car to be there, but uh, there we go. Oh, uh, we got a bump draft all the way to the left. Ewan's having a dive. Well, Ewan does pull it up in time. Danger Man's alongside. Not really going to quite work that. There's not going to be enough space. That cur You hit that curb, you just lose too much speed. Ewan gets a big kick of oversteer. Uh, I mean, all of this fighting here is really not helping us so much, but no one can really... There's so many cars close together here. No one can really sort themselves out uh, to go chasing after the leaders. Uh, we've got stuck fighting a Ewan. Danger Man was tr desperately trying to get across and get some slipstream, but couldn't quite make that happen. We are around the outside again. Uh, this hairpin. Oh, I wish we were closer to Longbow and try and get a toe off of that corner, but we can't do it. Uh, we are alongside and we are past Ewan, who will then probably slipstream us all the way into turn one. No, Ewan's having a fight with Danger Man. Someone's had a crash in the background. I think that was a Lado. It looked like a yellow car, but I'm not sure. Um, right. Through these first corners we go. Can we sort ourselves out into a way whereby we catch the cars ahead? Or will we <laughs> have the uh, 
sort of race 2.0 going on over 7th place. Possibly that one. We are still going to carry some speed through there. Danger Man is going to get the curb boost on the exit. And we are going to lose that position. We might lose out to Ewan. Liam's going to have a look. But I think that's going to be a difficult one to... Oh, I couldn't get across. Wanted to get across and get the slipstream better. But Ewan just had too good of a run on the exit there. We have got some slipstream going on now. Uh, we, are st we were still there. Ewan is climbing over the back of Danger Man's car. That's not really working very well. Uh, we will send all sorts of speed through turn one, but it doesn't really matter because we're all going to get boxed in anyway. Longbow's had a very big slide. <laughs> oh, we've almost caught the lead pack. It's almost happened. It's almost happened. Uh, we have got... Oh, bloody hell, these things. You ever so lightly brush the back of them. It's happened to me. I think it was Stevie bumped the back of my car and it just... The game decides that lightest of contact means your car has to veer unbelievably violently to the left or to the right. Oh, that's so annoying. I know not intentional. Ah, oh, that race is gone now. It wasn't going great, and that's just a really annoying spin, because I'm not going to be able to recover from that one. Um, yeah, it's the smallest of tags. The smallest of tags was enough to send the car around. Uh, it's a really cool circuit as well, this one, but uh, yeah. Ah, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating. Uh, I just didn't really get much of a I didn't really get a slipstream. It was gaining really slowly. Um, and then, yeah, we just missed time getting out of it anyway. Uh, well, I mean, maybe a top 10 is doable here if we have a really good final couple of laps, but... That is about the best that we could hope for. Uh, if we can get a good exit here, get a little bit on the curb. There's always chance for chaos, although this track hasn't really brought too much chaos to it. Uh, it's be I mean, there's been bumps and so on, but you haven't tended to have really big accidents. They've kind of been smaller accidents, more contained accidents uh, in this one than, uh, than we have seen. Whoa, I've been running there too fast. Yeah, a little bit. A lot of airtime on that. <laughs> More airtime than I wanted over that sh over that curbing. Uh, I'm not close enough to get slipstream from the cars ahead. Chris will have a dive, but down the inside here is a really difficult corner to actually make a pass stick. Uh, so yeah, we will oh, we will push that a bit too hard on the exit. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the final lap of the race. I don't I don't think we're not going to be able to catch any of the cars ahead. Chris is going to maybe try and shut the door won't be able to get across in time. May be able to slipstream us to the line. Not sure. It's not a big run to the finish line here. We will block that outside run. No one is able to do it. Oh, there was a spin between Bumpy and Stevie. And there we go. <laughs> ah, Frustrating. We were kind of in the fight. Um, we got a bit bogged down for a little while. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> After a couple of laps to go, it's just not time to to recover this track. Difficult to make the most of the slipstream and, and catch up for a lot of it. Uh, it does get some very, very good fun racing, though. Uh, when when things are going well, it's a really, really good re recreation of the actual circuit. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much to, uh, to Brazen for building that, uh, that wonderful, wonderful circuit. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.